hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem 9 to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x equals 25 to the power of x now we have power of x in three places since we are looking for it we need to have power of x in one place before getting the solution, right? So what then do we do? Let's divide all through by 9 to the power of x. Okay, so I'll divide this by 9 to the power of x. Divide this by 9 to the power of x. Then I'll divide this by 9 to the power of x. So that this will cancel this. Now we'll be having 1 plus 9 to the power of x over, okay, 15, this is 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, then equal to 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Then what do I do? Since these two are having power of x, I can combine them, so I have 1 plus we have um, 15 over 9 both of them to the power of x then this is equal to 25 i'll do the same 25 over 9 to the power of x remember before we're having 3x now we have 2 okay now what again can i do I can reduce this to a lower term. So I have 1 plus 15 here. 3 can go, so we have 5. Over 3 can go into 9, and we have 3. So these 2 will be raised to the power of x, and it's equal to... Now, I cannot reduce this. 3 cannot go into 25, and 9 cannot go as well. But then, I can decide to write... 25 as 5 squared, then 9 as 3 squared. Okay, so the power x outside is still there. Then from here, what can I do? I will still pick, you know, I, I'll combine 5 and 3 and raise both of them to the power of 2. So this will now be 1 plus 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to 5 over 3 to the power of 2 but then there's an there's another power of x so we're having two powers now and we can multiply the two powers or better still change the position so i'm going to have 1 plus 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to 5 over 3 to the power of 2 okay i want to write x now then to the power of 2 so this means that i have squared over there so we are now saying that we are having 5 over 3 to the power of x in two places and i will say let y represent let y be equal to 5 over 3 to the power of x. So in that case, here now I'll be having y, and here we have y squared. So we have 1 plus y equals um, y squared, because 5 over 3 to the power of x is y. So we have y squared on the right. So we are having a quadratic equation. Let us arrange this in a better way. So y squared should come first. Then we have minus y, then minus 1 equals 0. So the question is how do we solve this problem? Okay, so we're going to solve this problem by using the formula method. Okay, so the formula will be y equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. 
So the whole of this will be over 2 times a. Now our a is going to be 1, that is the coefficient of y squared. Our b is minus 1, that is the coefficient of y. Then our c is minus 1 as well, that is the constant. Now let's put this into the formula so that we'll be having y to be equal to in place of minus b we'll be having 1 because both of them are having negative and they will counter each other then plus or minus square root of b squared that will be minus 1 to the power of 2 then um, minus we have 4 multiply by 1 because a is 1 and c is minus 1. So the whole of this will be over 2 times 1. Now y here is equal to 1 plus or minus. We have minus 1 squared is 1. Then minus 4 times 1 times minus 1. That will give us plus 4. So the whole of this will be over 2. To continue, y will be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5, and this will be over 2. But mind you, we are not looking for y, we are looking for um, 5, we are looking for x, right? And we say that let y be equal to 5 over 3 to the power of x. So in place of this y, I can write 5 over 3 to the power of x. So I'll write um, 5 over 3 to the power of x is now equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. But then know that this is um, a true solution because of the negative over there. Now, let's consider the negative first before getting back to the positive. So if we say 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now, looking at this, you discover that this side will give negative because 1 minus square root of 5 will give us a negative value. So therefore, since here is positive and this side is negative, this has to be rejected. So we will reject this. Okay, so this has to be rejected. This has to be rejected and then we'll pick only the positive. So we'll be having 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So how do we deal with this? I don't want us to use calculator for this. So we will just take log of both sides. We have log 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to log open bracket 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. This is what we have. The powers, can, the, the, the powers always go behind, right? So we write x log 5 over 3. And this will be equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Let's have this in brackets. Then what can I do to get the value of x? Divide all through by 5. I log 5 over 3. Okay. Then I'll divide this by log 5 over 3. Then what happens? This is 2, right? This is going to go with this, right? So let me finish it over here. And then I will now say that x is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 divided by log 5 over 3 
but you can apply change of base to what we have over here so that you have from x to be equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 this is 5 over 2 close this then to the base of 5 over 3 okay so this becomes the value of x but you can decide to press calculator and have your answer in decimal form thank you for watching